welcome to Bulletproof Park. My name is Elena and I'll be your tour guide. First we'll go see Alan Turing and he's our interviewer so let's go follow him. Let's go see him. Follow me. Hello Alan. Oh, hello. I see you've come to learn a little bit more about Bulletproof Park. Oh, very interesting place indeed and you must excuse the clothing for right now because it's um, future week so we're all pretending to guess what the clothing styles will be around 2010. So, let's see, in Bletchley Park, it's all about code breaking. Breaking codes, establishing codes, new codes, old codes. We're trying to find out what they are, which is quite interesting. You have to have certain skills to do this. Say, in a code you look for, oh, matching symbols, you look for patterns, you look for all sorts of clues, punctuation everything. It's good practice. So, oh, I have an idea. I'll give you a code right now. So, let's see if you can decipher this code by the end of our little presentation. Now we're moving on to the Enigma room where we'll be talking to Dilly Knox and he is in hut 312. So, he's actually decoding a message right now on the Enigma machine. And um, with that, he will help break codes and help the British fight against the Germans. So, here he is. Hello, Dilly. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Well, right now, I'm actually working on solving a code. If you couldn't see me, this is like... Bing, 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 bing. Yeah. Okay. So, this is how Enigma works. There are three dials in the Enigma machine. There are 26 letters on this dial right here. You press the button, it rotates the dial one notch, which makes another letter. Once you get through all the letters, okay, now we are on the second dial. <laughs> Once you are on the second dial, to get to the next letter, you have to go all the way through 26 of these again, and then you get the next letter on the second dial. Once you go through 26 on the first dial and 26 on the second dial, then you get to the third dial. On that third dial, you have to go through 26 on the first, 26 on the second, and then another switch will go on the third, which will cause it to turn. Once you go all the way around all three dials, it will go back to the first and reset. Actually, right now I'm working on the code. I'm just about to finish it up. Here it is. Sessions is the answer to World War Three. Thank you. Have you ever wanted to be able to send secret messages to your friends? Well now you can using my special package of codes and ciphers. For only $19.95 you can receive my method of encoding and decoding codes. The package includes three codes. Your basic Caesar code, which is a simple alphabetic shift. Your Visionary cipher, which was developed by Blaise de Visionary and this is a set of 26, that's right, 26 Caesar codes combined. And finally, you will receive a homophonic substitution cipher, which gives each letter several replacement numbers. That means over 100 replacements to keep your secret notes and emails safe. To keep all of those notes safe, buy my special code package for only $19.95. But wait, there's more. If you order now, I will include this special pencil absolutely free. Some restrictions may apply. Offer not available if you are over the age of three or not a legal resident of Cuba. Well, that's interesting, Dilly Knox. And now we're moving on to Josh Cooper, who is working on crypto cryptos right now. And he'll be explaining that to you shortly. Hello, Josh Cooper. This is our tumor. Welcome to HUD 313. I come across some new intel. The CIA has a sculpture named Cryptos. Cryptos meat is the Greek word for hidden. Uh, but Cryptos, it's a sculpture. It's a giant flowing piece of copper with words embedded in it. Let's divide it into four segments. First segment is a polyalphabetic substitution cipher. Um, and it says, as I've decoded it. Very interesting stuff, very interesting stuff. However, the second part, which is also a polyalphabetic solution, is even more interesting.
And do you know where that actually ends up being? That's 200 feet south. third panel, the four panels, is a transposition cipher. And after spending oh, terrible amounts of time, I decoded it. And it says, Very interesting stuff. No, bloody interesting stuff. Um, however, it was par that is kind of paraphrased from uh, Howard Carter's account of opening King Tut's tomb. So I'm trying to figure out the re connection, but yeah, it takes time. And finally, the fourth part. Uh, it's confounded me for uh, a very long time. It's unsolvable. It has yet to be solved. It's impossible to wrap your mind around. No one knows what it means. It's very interesting. Very well, let's go see Alan Turing and see if we figured out his plan. Okay, Alan. Can oh. you help us? Help you with, with your code. Oh, my code, yes. You've been working on that? I see. Well, it's quite a simple code, actually. Every code is once you know the key. You see, you start by writing letters of the alphabet. A to Z, and you go three down, then three up, three down, three up, so on and so forth until you get to the back of the alphabet. Then you simply start numbering in between the letters on that middle row. One, two, three, continue down, and then you fill up the rest of the space of the other 25 numbers, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, all the way to 24, 25, 26 in that pattern. You simply draw dashes on each side, and then you have each symbol. So B could either be dash and then two, or one and then dash. Such as D could be dash or two and then dash, or dash and then three. Same with all the numbers on the bottom and the top. Now, in the case of where there's a dash over here, you quite simply go to the letter above it. So dash 26 would be B. So with this code, Using this code, perhaps you can decode the message. But, you know, just for the sake of time, I'll tell you, the message happened to have been math. So yes, that's some skills on how to use code breaking and how you can, how you see it all around you. And so yes, thank you for dropping in, Bloodshed Park. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the tour, and I hope you've learned some interesting things about Bloodshed Park. And hopefully we'll see you again soon!